What's up, guys? So, um, I've been uh, pretty depressed lately. You know, I hit my head, got a huge cut there. I've been pretty depressed. I haven't even been playing much video games. Just gonna get a headache very easily. But I figured it'd be a good time to review a bad game. I mean, my week can't get any worse. Oh, school's ending. I honestly, that's kind of sad in a way because I can't. Ha I mean, I hang out, with my, I hang out with my friends over the summer, but you know, just that's one of the fun things about school is you can see your friends every day besides weekends, and you can talk to them on weekends and stuff. It's just, I mean, I'm glad school's over. I'm also kind of sad. I'm excited moving to high school and all that stuff. So anyways, uh, so a couple, uh, probably about uh, six months ago, I reviewed Top Gun. I did it before I had my capture card, and. I don't think I gave the game what it deserves. So I'm going to redo my Top Gun review right here, right now. Play that god awful game. But fortunately, I was at a thrift store, and this game just had to show up. The second mission. Top Gun, the second mission. Why the hell did it have to show up at some dumb thrift store? And I just had to buy it, you know what I mean? I was like, I have to buy it. So, it's depressing, isn't it? Top Gun. Top Gun. I'll also just let you guys know, like, tomorrow, or today, probably when this video is uploaded, the world's supposed to end or some crap like that. So, honestly, I think I'd rather have the world in than play this game. So maybe the world went. That'd be great. Let's get this crap over with. Oh, God. Why am I doing this to myself? It's pure freaking torture. Well, oh, here's the screen that was been on my channel before. There's Konami Top Gun. There's the push start. Here's the opening title with the plane and the little guy waving it to go off. And here's the pointless day of May 21st where the world shall not end. That's very depressing. Because honestly, if anybody ever predicted the end of time, I think I would kill myself. Just saying. Well, here's the takeoff. You take off from the carrier, and you start off in a wonderland of snow. But seriously though, the clouds look like crap. It looked like balls of cotton being thrown at you by some fan, like in some SNL skits. You can see the fan blowing the snow. It's funny. Um, there's a missile that's pretty darn pointless. Like I like I said before, you have three types of missiles. Each one is supposed to be a little bit more powerful than the other, but the bullets are just as powerful as any other missile. So I really see no exact point in the missiles at all. So obviously you choose the one with the highest quantity. So you got some more planes, and for a long time it's just flying and flying. And flying, and you shoot straight. Oh, oh, here comes a plane. Oh, another plane. Sheer suicide. You probably just look forward the whole time. Close your eyes for the whole mission one. Well, maybe not there. But then close your eyes for all the mission one. And this keeps happening. Hey, who knows? You might not even die once. But you'd probably die on the landing. But hey, you never know. The way this game is, you never know what's about to happen next. For all I know, there's an atomic bomb is about to go off. Seriously, this game is bad. It's boring. And it's tough. That's not a good combination. Honestly, this danger thing, I guess a plane is trying to target or lock onto you or some crap like that, so I really don't know. And those planes don't even shoot you, so it's like, what's the point if they're not even going to shoot you? I also don't understand, why do those planes come from the back? I mean, that's just suicide. I mean, would you fly from behind a plane, go straight in front of it, right so he can shoot you, and you'd be dead? I mean, why on earth would you do that? You have to be an idiot. Like, literally, you had you to have played this game even to get that idea. Hmm. Interesting thought. Anyways, so you can shoot the bombs or missiles or whatever they are. They look like cannonballs. And there's the danger thing again. Yeah, just get out of the targeting system, I guess. <sighs> boring, boring. I like to be boring. But seriously, though, this game is boring. The first level is bullcrap. Yep. Just shoot a plane here, there, here, there, here, there, 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 da, da, da. It's just not that fun. Oh, hey, okay. It is so boring. I'm not even kidding you. I'm not, I don't know. I'm going to have to say the word boring like a thousand times. O M G. -a. 
Holy crap. Wow. This is, I can't believe I was playing this game. It is so boring just to watch this. I am sorry and I apologize for the boringness of this video. What to do, what to do. Gorilla Potato, Harry Potter, elephants that are like airplanes, funny people's dead war horses, and I am going to the landing sequence. About damn time. Yep. Just let you all know, I was really stressed out when I was doing this for you guys, you know? Trying to land this goddamn plane that doesn't ever land, I was so pissed off. In fact, here, I'm just going to let this thing roll, and I'll keep my reaction. Well, so far, so good. Nothing bad. Turn it. Oh my god, I can't go up. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I cannot go up. What the ass? This is bullcrap. I cannot. Go oh my god. It'd be easier to land a real fucking airplane on top of Mount Everest. I'm gonna shoot the makers of this game. Oh yeah. That's my reaction. Very nice reaction, I guess you could say. Anyways, here's the missile select, and it's really dumb, like I said before. Each have a different quantity, but really, I just want to get this review over with. So, let's just try to pretend like I was trying my hardest at this next couple of parts. Yeah, so let's choose the T-11, which is also called the Hound. Takeoff, we know it's takeoff, we're not dummies. Unless you, like, like this game. If you like this game, you're a dummy. Yep, it's official. It's like, yeah, it's just bad. And unfortunately... The world isn't going to end tomorrow, or like 15 minutes from now. The world isn't going to end, which sucks a lot. And look at the cotton balls. Oh, 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 there's a bomb. Oh, I got hit by a bomb in like the first five seconds. That is pathetic. But maybe I was trying to hit the bomb. You never know. For the second level, um, it's really hard if you don't have, if you die on the first level. Yeah, there's boats that shoot missiles at you, and it's a pain. You got these planes, more of those planes. And then here comes two missiles, and boom, I am now dead. Top Gun. Game over. Well, that's that. Top Gun. I still have the sequel to do. It's 11.26. Let's see what I can do to kill time. Well, I was watching Men in Black, but it's only 11.26. Well, that clock's wrong because my computer, obviously. So I figured, why not whip a wall again? That's fun, always. What else can I do? Oh, I can turn on my Coca-Cola lamp. Or my fish lamp. And my Coca-Cola. And... Where's the other one? This one. I don't even know how to turn this one on. Oh, there we go. Haha, <laughs> turn on all my lamps. Use those as light. What's up, guys? Anyways, this actually is a real whip. Even though the end of it's kind of uh, been worn out, it actually is a real whip. It was given to me as a Christmas present once, and I did actually cut myself with it once. Um, it is very dangerous. It really will hurt a lot if you were to hit somebody with it with full force. I just hurt my hand. That's what a whip sounds like. It cracks just like it does in movies. You have to be extremely careful with it because it will hurt you. Yeah. I have killed like no time. This is bull crap. I know what I can do. Let's watch some SNL. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Pets and Petting. Tonight, the goldfish, the king of the bowl, the jaws of the boars. These cheeky little fish are friendly and easy to feed, providing you feed them right. Now, what is the right way to feed them? The answer is, of course, good food. 
So I like to start them off with a little soup, a nice minestrone, plenty of vegetables for them to get their little teeth into. Mmm. Nice and hot. Nobody likes cold soup, especially to swim around in. Uh, then for main course, perhaps some chops, some nice chops, or perhaps a nicely roasted chicken. Yeah. And don't forget, plenty of vegetables, some nice potatoes. They love potatoes. And of course, some cabbage. Nice cabbage. And to complement the meal, of course, a beautiful, fine bottle of wine. I've chosen a rather fruity French Beaujolais. A little taste. Yes, he nods his little head. He likes it. Good. In it goes. Not a very fine vintage. On to the main course, perhaps to finish a little dessert. Some cheesecake, perhaps. Yes, a nice cheesecake. In it goes. And to finish off with, of course, the coffee. A meal without coffee is like something else without something else. And now, uh, next week, I'll show you how to feed your goldfish hot curry and how to feed your cat to the dog. So, good night for me. Look at the Mario game I destroyed a long time ago. Yeah, this is my flip video. We ran out of batteries. Now I'm downstairs. I have to be really quiet because my house is really airy. So this is how I'm wasting time. And I hope the world ends. That way I don't have to do part two. Maybe a miracle. Now it's really dark. I think I'm going to eat Coke and Cola if I have any in the fridge. No, I don't have any Coke. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I think crime was like the last...